Hi. In the previous parts of the presentation about the Perl 6 programming language, I mentioned that you can get help on the IRC channel of Perl 6. Uh, I also assumed that you already have Perl 6 or Rakudo installed on your computer. And uh, while it's not too difficult, it's mo it would be better to try it without actually installing anything on your computer. So let me show you an example of how to use a standard web browser to connect to the IRC channel, how to get help there, and uh, how to uh, use uh, Pro 6, how to try Pro 6 right there on the channel. So I opened the browser here and went to this address, which is the web interface of the free node uh, IRC server. Here I uh, type in some kind of a uh, nickname and then the name of the channel which is Pro 6 as I mentioned and then I can uh, press connect and connect to the uh, channel. Here you can see uh, the list of uh, the users that are currently connected to the channel uh, and this place you will see the conversation uh, when people are talking on the channel uh, as you can see right now it's pretty empty there's not much conversation going on uh, and here in this line you can actually type in something and once you typed in it will appear on the channel going to all the people who are on the channel so let's uh, start by uh, uh, saying something uh, saying hi uh, to the people in the channel So that's how can I say, and then I can uh, ask a question. For example, and then I'll probably have to wait a couple of seconds uh, or more till someone will answer uh, the question. So here I got an answer, and uh, what I got is uh, Jonathan uh, typed in Rakudo column and then an expression. What happens, <laughs> or what happens is that uh, uh, there is an uh, evalbot on the channel called P6 evalbot that listens in on the channel on the conversation and whenever it sees something that starts with Rakudo colon it takes the rest of the example, rest of the text, executes it within Rakudo and prints uh, the output back to the channel. So we got 42 here on the channel. That's how we can uh, uh, solve uh, problems uh, easily and see how uh, Rakudo actually behaves. So let me thank them. Now, um, the obviously if you uh, play around with Pro 6 a lot, you don't want to do it on the channel. You probably would like prefer to do it privately uh, on a, a, in a private channel. So what you can do is say message P6, P6 eval. And here you can type in the example that you saw there, 33, 7 5. This sends the message to the evalbot directly. When the evalbot re responses, it shows up as a separate tab on the screen. You can click here. This is a message back from uh, the evalbot. It says that something uh, is incorrect. Let's go back. So what happened? is that uh, I didn't uh, type in colon here after Rakudo. So that's the error message uh, I got. So let's try here again. Rakudo colon and then say 39 plus 3 this time. Here I don't have to uh, say message anymore because I'm already on the pri private channel. And there Rakudo gave me the answer 42. What happens if I type in something that's, uh, let's say, this way, that's incorrect, that's syntactically incorrect, uh, as opposed to this one, which is the, just the evalbot saying that it didn't understand what I'm trying to ask it. Now this time it says that Rakudo tells me that there is some kind of an in syntax error in my code. You would wonder why I need to type in Rakudo in front of the, my text, in, in front of my example, and the reason is because the evalbot has several backends. Only one of them is Rakudo. Now, the other one is, for example, STD, which is the standard grammar of Perl 6, as is being defined constantly. 
So in this case, it will try to check whether the code that I give has any syntax is syntactically correct. And that's what I'll get back here, an error message from the standard uh, grammar. So here I can uh, type in various examples and play with uh, uh, Rakuto and then see whether I understand how it works. Obviously I will find some uh, issues that I, it will be unclear to me whether it's uh, my mistake or that's something incorrect within Rakuto. In that case I can just copy the string that I typed in, the piece of code that I typed in, go back to the channel, paste it here just so everyone will see it and then I can ask people what's the story about it, whether it's uh, my mistake or whether it's uh, Rakuto's fault. In any case, I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation and you will uh, see you soon on the Perl 6 IRC channel asking questions. Once you are done, you can just go and close the window and leave this page. Thank you very much.